first aid air gun. I'm your host Lou and today we're checking out GX pumps. In particular we're checking out the GX HM6 high pressure three stage hand pump. So something you can take out in the field when you don't have a uh, outside fill source or electricity to get the job done. You can always rely on good old hand human power. So uh, if you dig what you see maybe give me a thumbs up and if you really dig it maybe consider subscribing as well. So let's not waste any time let's jump right into the GXH M6 hand pump. I will leave a uh, product link in the description below for you. The GX M6 three-stage pump is made of all stainless steel pump body. It does come with uh, O-rings, tools, and uh, fill adapters. So you're pretty much ready to go right out of the box. Has a nice clear pressure gauge, rubberized grips. Uh, the base plate flips out is very wide and very, very durable feeling. It does have a desiccant uh, filter on the outside. So when it's blue, it's dry. Red means it needs to be dried out or changed. And of course, uh, the main feature of a hand pump is the uh, compactness and the portability of it, not having a uh, outside air source tank compressor or something like that to uh, fill your gun. This is a perfect option. This is GX Pumps GXHM6 high pressure three stage hand pump. Let's check it out. No, uh, normally, here we go, right off the bat, uh, the packaging is really, really nice. Uh, looks like we have some accessories here. Of course, we have our instruction manual. Very nice, tells you what everything is. Uh, also, how to make repairs and keep it lubricated, very important. And uh, this kind of shocks me right here. Is check this out. It's been vacuum sealed in its package to keep uh, any moisture or debris uh, getting anywhere inside. So, right off the bat, we're off to a great start. All right, before we get into the pump itself, uh, like I said, we took a quick look at the instructions here. It does tell you how to keep it lubricated and make repairs. Uh, so let's see what's in these boxes real quick. Okay, yep. The standard tool to make the repairs. Take it apart. And, of course, it has some filters on there as well. Very nice. And let's see what's in this one here. We have our uh, Allen keys, uh, extra O-rings. Uh, we also have two adapter fittings there, so uh, for any of your needs. Looks like we have the uh, supplied oil for lubrication. That's nice. And a, uh, another tool there. So, let's dig into this pump and get a closer look gotten it out of its packaging uh, and you know right off the bat uh, one thing I want to mention is it's completely assembled you don't have to do anything there is, uh, to, uh, you're ready to go right out of the box uh, it does have the discontent I can't say that word but you know what I'm talking about to keep moisture out uh, and right now that they're blue that means it's completely dry when they turn red uh, that means it has moisture and it's uh, pretty much filled up. At that point, you can uh, remove them and uh, dry, air dry them or even with a, a blow dryer, uh, you know, with some uh, fan or something like that. Uh, so you can dry them on your own. Uh, not recommended for scuba divers, but for uh, PCP handguns, uh, you can reuse them over and over. So that's a plus right there. Uh, sturdy construction, really, really beefy. The... Uh, the bleeder valve here is hefty, it's not small, it's really got some weight to it. The legs themselves, I can feel uh, very strong. These things, uh, I don't think they're going to be moving anywhere. I have a cheaper hand pump that I bought uh, last year, and it serves its purpose. It is uh, does the job, but uh, it's a little flimsier compared to this. Uh, certainly doesn't have the external... Uh, oil uh, moisture filter here as well. Also 
on the uh, quick disconnect here, it is uh, plugged in. They have it sealed, so no uh, debris is getting in there, even though it was vacuum sealed. So uh, it does have the uh, air pressure gauge, uh, nice feeling grips here. Uh, for a uh, hand pump, this is, uh, so far seems to be excellent, excellent. Uh, you know, if you're out in the field, uh, you don't have access to a generator or electricity or an outside air source. This is uh, probably going to serve you well. So what I'm going to do is take my Umarex gauntlet that I got from Moose over there at Air Guns of Michigan. I hope everything is well with you, my brother. Merry Christmas. I uh, hope to see you soon on the old YouTube there. A uh, little 177 uh, caliber Umarex gauntlet. And uh, I'm going to fill it up to its max fill pressure. And uh, we're going to see how the hand pump uh, does. So hang on. All right, the uh, Umarex Scarlet here is at about 1100 PSI. We're gonna get her up to the max fill pressure here. I'm gonna attach the uh, GX M6 hand pump to her and see how it goes. I'm not gonna film the actual process of me uh, pumping up, but I am gonna time it for you and let you know how it goes. All right, I got her hooked onto the gauntlet, no problem. Everything attached nice and easily. So I'm going to start pumping, and here we go. Very, very solid feeling. I like the feel of this better than my other old pump. We've also used the uh, Umarex pump supplied with the Origin, and that one's a little janky too. <laughs> but this one seems to be doing pretty good. All right, I got the Umarex gauntlet up to max fill pressure. Uh, took about seven minutes of continuous pumping. Uh, I did take breaks, and when I took a break, I just hit pause on the timer. The uh, pump itself worked flawlessly. Uh, pumping wasn't bad at all. Uh, actually, for me, it was, it was fairly easy. Um, and like I said, got it done in about seven minutes, continuous pumping. I did take breaks. Uh, much sturdier than my uh, other pump that I have. So definitely get a thumbs up GX for me. Uh, if you need something for out in the field, this is a, a, a go-to pump for, in my uh, opinion. Uh, it's reasonably priced. Definitely works. I like the uh, outside oil water separator here. Um, does have the 1 8 BSP fitting supplied uh, and uh, another adapter or two depending on what your needs are. Uh, we'll see how it holds up long term, but right now it's getting a thumbs up. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check it out for yourself if you're interested. That's what I got for you today, folks. Everybody, stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.